Hello everybody and welcome to the American Outback map. We're back for episode number two. This is when this map really starts because in the first episode I was really just messing about because the big bud was not out. It is now out and we're going to use it today in this episode. We may well buy the entire package because we have money. This of course does mean we have to sell some tractors and equipment first of all though because we don't want to be in debt straight away. That would be a huge mistake. Now luckily because we have only just acquired this farm, these tractors should not be too used. Yeah, £89,000 still. It's very impressive. Also, this is the uh, cedar here, £13,000. We're back over to... Uh, back over to pounds again. It does like to reset. So let me just go back to dollars before I get too many complaints. Good. Right, that's looking better. We'll sell this tractor as well. We'll keep one of them. We don't need to have them all. Oh, this one's worth 92,000. Very impressive. So, as we're here, we might as well buy a few things. We mustn't go too wild. The big bud tractors. So we've got $405,000 for the biggest one, plus extras. $225,000 for the 450. I think what well, triple wheels is really good. Looks amazing, but it may be a bit of a nightmare for us. So we're going to stick with the twin wheels. I don't think we need to go too over the top. Now, obviously, in the future, we can buy the other wheels if we want to. You can interchange between them, and it won't cost us any extra later on. But, yeah, that should be good. The other big bud as well, we're going to buy. We'll have them both. Now, what we need to do is also buy a fairly large, well, in fact, the biggest combine harvester we can find. That's going to be a necessity. We also have to have to have the biggest plough, the biggest cultivator, and the biggest planters. This map is not small, as you've probably guessed. Now, because this big bud does not have a three-point linkage, we're going to have to have the trail lifter. Now, we should probably stick with the universal mobiles, but again, we can interchange between them. So, um, yeah, I'm clicking too many times. I'm getting too excited for using the big bud DLC. As for the cultivators, I think we can probably use, yeah, the, the that's a subsoiler, and it does act as a plough, but I think we should go for one of these two. Now, the bed and art looks bigger, but actually the flexi coil is wider, so I don't know if there is any difference in what the soil quality is like afterwards, but I would really like to go with the flexi coil. I think probably in the end we'll have them both. Now as for sewing machines, we're going to go for the biggest. I think we're going to go for the air cart. And we can have rear twin wheels with this if we want to. Yes, we will do. If we hadn't bought so much stuff, I have clogged up the dealer with all of our equipment. That's because the plough has spawned like that, horizontally. Let's begin to sort some stuff out then. Now this tractor I don't think will be powerful enough for the plough, but we're just going to move the plough with it. I've had some very good ideas as well from other people, good suggestions, and that was really to buy fur number 8. We, we own fur number 7 already, but it makes sense to buy fur number 8 and then plough the two together, because they are a bit narrow, both of those fields, and it wouldn't really be worth just having one. We may as well have them both. Now, obviously that is with <laughs> assuming that money is no object, which it is. Those fields alone, are, I think they're about $600,000, so we must be very careful here. But looking like it so far, we're going to be okay. Uh, that might have to be sold. That would definitely be sold. Never going to keep that combine. Um, and we could move the flexicle out of the way with this. So, the aim of this video is really to get a big combine, finish that field, which shouldn't take too long at all, get these big buds working in there. We're going to have to plough it and then cultivate it, unless we use a direct drill, which I haven't yet decided on. But we really should have the plough going. I really do want to work the soil as much as possible. It would really look better. Right, so much is air cart with the twin wheels and the toolbar, obviously. So, we haven't bought the combine. They are expensive. But, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are expensive. Now, I don't suppose we have to go for the biggest just yet. These two are very similar. Go with the Massey Ferguson. And oh, the best header to go with that is the... Is it, what is it? Um, should be able to tell. Yeah, not that thing. The Dynaflex. So we have $280,000 left, but we do still have a combine to sell and possibly another tractor, although I do think we're going to be keeping the other tractor. We can't really afford to just get rid of it. We need to have a small one as well. As nice as these big buds are, they're not going to be ideal for everything. Now, we have to have a header trader as well. So, let's go into the store, and we need to buy two headers, actually. Thinking about it. Um, yeah, we'll stick with the standard colour. We can't really afford to go modifying that kind of stuff. Although we could afford to have the twin wheels on the uh, cedar. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yes, if we go back into the headers, I don't think Massey Ferguson actually make their own header for the corn. So it would have to be the Capello, which again is quite expensive. And we've blocked the area again. But don't worry, because the fields are big, we should be able to get some money in fast. I don't really know if we're going to be doing much with the animals or not on this map. Um, I really don't know. We may be focusing on the crops because it's obviously huge. These fields they need to have a lot of work and we can't, really, we can't really spend too much time on both. I really do want to focus on just the crops really. Right, so what I've done is I have put the main header on here, the one we're going to be using today. And I've attached to the trailer. I'm going to spin around. I'm going to put it over here. So we can then attach to the other header and put that on. Basically, just moving this one out of the way. Right, so if we put it over here, it gets it out of the spawn place for the new equipment. And we'll put the Massey Ferguson header on this trailer. I really don't think it matters having a different colour. Obviously, like I say, if money was no object, we would be fine. We could have just chosen the custom colour and it would look much better. But we can't really be affording that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to leave the header here, just thinking about it. We can come back for it later. I'm going to go over to the field, we'll get it going on the worker. And yeah, basically then we'll be able to just start to unload it again. And we'll be able to get the, uh, the cultivator going. Probably going to do the cultivator myself. I don't think I'm going to have to have a worker for that. Um, but we'll just see how we go. I don't want to use too many workers. That is my concern. I have been told to be very careful on this bridge. Apparently if you try and uh, jump in the water with your harvester, as you do, it can be quite hard to get it back. Uh, it's kind of understandable. So if it does happen, I'll just try and reset it. But thank you for the heads up, whoever it was that said it. Right, so our field is just over here. You can see we've got the green field next to it. Something is growing in there. This map is the uh, the only map which has got a different feeling to it, I would say, than all of the other American maps. So things like Goldcrest Valley. To me, it doesn't feel that American-y, if that's a word. Um, I don't know. How to explain? Obviously, it doesn't feel like the UK, but there's something about it. It doesn't feel like this map. They're both really good maps. It's just they definitely have very different feelings. Right, okay, so here we are. Um, let me just unfold the header. Now this combine is going to uh, bump into the other combine if we don't take it out of the way. So I must head up there and get it moved. We're actually going to sell it straight away. Attach the PTO. How many times do I not attach that PTO shaft? Good. Right, here it is. Get all of this sold. We're not just going to leave it lying about. Now obviously, I don't think we're ever going to use this size machine on this size of map. It's just never going to be required. Perfect for starting off with, but after that, it really is surplus to requirement. Now when we can afford it, we will be buying a truck as well, and that will most likely be replacing our small trailer. But obviously at the moment we do have to start with the smallest stuff, and then we can work up later. 
as I found before, if you do just suddenly buy all of the biggest stuff, then you really do have a big issue on your hands. We don't. We've not. We're not actually extended our loan in any way, so we can buy. We can. We can extend the loan if we want to and buy stuff that way, but it's not ideal because you get interest. And I think if you're playing on normal mode, you do actually already have a loan as standard. I think I'm not too sure. So here is through the combine harvester, working away, doing a good job. Obviously, much faster than this one. Although the header size on this wasn't too bad for the size of combine. Traffic. There is a pickup truck. Yes. When it is such a big map, it can take quite a long time to get your vehicles from one side of the map to the other. I suppose some people would use a low loader. Look at that fine vehicle at the end of here. That really does look big. Well, that is the tractor we're going to be using today. We may well be using them both. I would love to use them both, but I'm going to have to check the horsepower requirements of the cultivator and the plough. Now, obviously, the plough is absolutely huge, and turning the land over is going to be quite horsepower greedy. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to be able to go on the small one. Well, saying small very loosely there, because there's nothing small about it, just smaller. 80% full, the other combine harvester. So, let's take... Well, let me just check this first of all. Gone here. Um, right, it requires... Nope, not the Salford. Uh, 550 horsepower. So it's actually pretty close, which actually makes me think that the cultivator can be towed by it. 500, yes it can. So all we have to do then is swap them over. Somehow, the smaller one over there is going to be able to pull this cultivator. Luckily, the land is very flat, so it's definitely going to happen. The best thing to do is to set these things off and follow me. Um, now the cedar, which is in there, you can see at the back there, We'll have to bring back next time when we come to seed the field. Now I don't want to be faffing about doing half jobs and everything. We're just going to, when we're in this series, we're going to do everything. We're going to do the plowing, the cultivating, the seeding, and then the fertilizing all in one routine. We're not going to leave off and then come back. So doing that, I always forget, always. So I don't want to be doing that. We're going to do this properly. I've said we're going to do it properly before, and it hasn't really worked, but this time we definitely are. At least this is faster than the combine. Yep, pretty much taking up the whole road. Triple wheels definitely would do, be overhanging each side. Have to see this go over the bridge. And then you meet a car. That's when the fun starts. On the bridge as well. Ah, oh. the other tractor is not pulled over. What a road hog. Here's the bridge. Good place for a screenshot. There we go. Screenshot taken. Let's get off here before another car turns up. What a beast. Acceleration. That is a monster. Now, yes, the uh, the combine is full, so we can't be ma messing about here. We're going to have to go and get the trailer. We're going to have to keep it unloaded. Otherwise, we're going to catch up with it in a second with the width of this. Although this isn't starting straight away. The plan will be for starting first. We do need to swap them over. Look at this. Look at these flags over the road. Very nice. Right, so we're at the top end of the field here. I'm just going to part this out of the way. We'll put it here. The other tractor should be close. Yeah, it's just pulling in over there. Fantastic. There's the combine, which is full, so we need to uh, go and get the trailer. Seems somewhat of a downgrade, although this is a very nice tractor. Uh, well, the scale more than anything. When you're driving such huge machinery, and then you jump into the small case. 1455. But like I say, we really do need to keep this tractor because if we only need to move, for example, the water bowser, we don't want to be using a big bud. That would just not be right. Thankfully, we still have $378,000, which I'm surprised about. I thought we would actually go into debt today. 
That would have been very bad, but I did think it would be close, because whenever I start buying equipment, I go crazy and buy everything. You've probably noticed. Right, well, it's on the other side again, which is unfortunate. I'm just going to have to drive through the crop quickly. There we go. Should do it. And yes, this tractor, we need to drop the flex coil off the back. I think what I do, the easiest thing to do would be to just drive over here. Oh, which notice, it actually leaves tyre marks from both of the wheels instead of just one. Which sometimes that can happen with various different mods. So it's nice that's been done properly. Yeah, so I'll stop it there. We'll drop it off. And really, we need to have the plough on here. Turning over that land is going to be fairly hard. So this is the slatted moldboard plough. In yesterday's showcase you'll have seen that I actually had the universal uh, moldboard. Why is it crashed? Oh right, because I pulled away. It was set to about 40 metres. Right, okay, so we'll just drop the entire thing off. This can have the cultivator. Now, I think the, uh, the cedar is a direct drill, I think. So we don't actually have to cultivate. But I think it is just going to look much better if we do. We might as well. We don't really have to worry about diesel fees. Not too much anyway. Okay. So, yeah, that is done. It's filled at 100%. Totally filled it. We do need to get a lorry trailer at some point. Park it here. Take that in a minute or two. But, first of all, let's get the plough going. Now, I did want to do it myself. Because I don't like using a worker all the time. But because we've got the combine going as well, it's going to be fairly hard to find the time. Maybe we should just finish the combine first. I just wanted to have a good go with these big buds. The combine has gone out of view. Yeah, so because this is on the top ploughing, it's going to be fairly new to me. I don't know exactly how to do it properly. Um, I suppose we're going to have to be offset a bit. We're going to have to go off the field with the tractor be able to do it. I'm sure it will become natural to me soon, but yeah, as you can see, it's going off to the side. So maybe for the first pass of the field, we're going to have to keep these wheels flush with the edge. Yes, I think we do. But we can't hang about doing this anyway because we need to take the trailer. Otherwise the combine is going to be waiting quite some time. So we'll put onto a worker, and it can continue. That is taking quite a chunk of the field in one go. So the beacon comes on if it if you get in the way of it. That's interesting, but not if you get in the way of the plow. Wow, the huge equipment! Very impressive. I've just noticed we actually have a cell point just here, very close to it. You can see the silos. And unfortunately, we have to go through the field to get across there if we wanted to take a shortcut. We're going to have to go all the way around the outside, which would actually mean we, it would be better just to go back to the farm. But the cell point is right there, so we could just get this straight off the field. Solved instantly. I think we might do that. If I had started the combine on the other side, we could have just cut across bad planning. Here we are. So certainly the first load is going to go to here. The more we sell, the worse the price is going to be. So we can't sell too much here. First load though. Bit of a cash boost. Just over £6,000. Quite impressive. Many train lines. So we're unloading the combine again. Um, we do actually have quite a lot of spare money. I'm not going to say too much there because we do consume it very quickly. But I think we've got enough to be able to get a better trailer. I really do. I don't think we should just be using this small metal tech trailer. It's going to take a very long time to harvest the field otherwise. So this load, we're going to tip into our storage. As I've said before, we do need to have some for the pigs. 
storage is over there. And I've had a good idea. Because the other big bud isn't in use, we can actually get a really big trailer for that. And then we can uh, use that tractor instead of this one to tow the big heavy trailer. Just making use of what we've got, really. Right, so now that is tipped, we're going to go over here. Park it up. Turn the beacons off. I won't sell it, the trailer, because you never know, we may need it for a smaller job. Plowing is going on very nicely there. And yes, this tractor is here. Drop that off the back. And yeah, it could be a good tractor for actually carting with. It's not very fast, but it's got plenty of power. I've been trying to find the exits and entrances to these fields, and I couldn't really find any. I did find one, it's over the far side. You can see there's one here. So I've just been cutting through. So here we are in the Big Bud 450 with the Agri Liner on the back. I think that is going to be a much better trailer for us. Well, obviously it is because it's much larger. Uh, really, before we couldn't even unload the combine tank fully. I think we were about half unloading it. So it's filling up again really quickly. Um, so this is going to really improve the efficiency of this harvest, which is what we really need. And obviously, when we get the lorry, when we can afford it, we'll have a trailer for that as well. We'll probably keep this as well. And then we'll have two going. You really do need it though. And my guess is this field isn't even fertilised. Yes, there was the entrance. I need to go that way instead of cutting through every time. It's going to annoy people. So what are we? About halfway through? Just over halfway? Maybe two thirds. Uh, it's full and typical. It's at the far end of the field. Got a long drive to go on. This thing is like an office, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's so tidy in here and comfortable. It feels so smooth. There's the plow. Yeah, the combine is right at the top. Okay, we seem to be driving in neutral. The speed works, the RPM works. Really nice in here though. Is that for the air horn? Not sure. Or is it for the uh, the wiper? One good thing though is it's actually on the correct side, the auger. So we don't have to go driving through the crop, which is something I hate doing. Really hate driving through the crop. Is the exhaust stack going to clear the auger? Should do. Yep. All good. So yeah, this is going to be much better and the plough is actually going to catch up with us on this run. When it comes back up again, it's going to have caught up with the combine. Looking good though. So that was the capacity. What's in here now is the capacity of the other trailer, 8,000 litres. Which looks like nothing. Just 20% of this one. It must be almost empty. Yeah, it's about to go again. There it goes. Oh, you tipped them on the ground. 27%. So we should get at least three loads in here. There's a bit to spare. Which will actually be the rest of this field. So we'll sit tight and, well, wait for the other big buds to turn up. But it's going to be a while. Actually, looking at the timing of that, we're going to have to be down the bottom end of the field to unload again. Don't think it's going to make it back up here from going back down again. Right, let's wait here then. The combine should be on its way. It's in the distance somewhere. Not quite sure where. I'm sure it will turn up. I can see the big bud coming with the plough. This is one seriously wide field of view. 
just so we can get this thing in here. Show me a little bit closer if we could do a better pass. Yes, it looks like a squash pancake. Ah, I'm going to get run over. I'm going underneath it. There goes the plow. Weird. Ah, that's better. See stuff again. Okay, so I've just stopped it because it's 86% full. Obviously, it's not going to get to the end. We'll have to drive in the crop again. It's one low, which is not ideal. Oh, look, the, the, the plow is almost caught up with us. We must be fast. It's not every day you get the plow catching up with a combine. That just shows how insanely big that plow is. Right, okay, so we have managed to do it just before it gets here. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get out of the way though, it's going to have to wait for us. Back to a worker. Oh, so close. Barely had to stop. It's good though, 50% full. We're going to go back up to the top of the field though. Wait for it up there. And this is when you get chaos. Every machine is in the same area. Well, I'm going to go up to the top. We're going to wait, and I think actually I'm going to do the rest off screen. Uh, we may finish it. Uh, yeah, I'll finish the last bit in the next episode. I don't want to show it all, but yeah, I think that's a, a good bit of progress for today. As for this load, though, I don't know where it's going to go to. If there is a good price, we'll sell it. Not necessarily here. There's quite a lot of sell points actually on this map. Really good. It's kitting out very well. Um, tombstone grains, outback grains, valley grains, old grain store, uh, yeah, those places. Which we'll go for the place with the best price. And if there is nowhere, we'll just put it in our storeroom. No point selling something at a bad price if we can wait for a great demand or that kind of thing. Right, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the first look kind of thing at the Big Bud DLC. I know it was released yesterday, but still. You may not have seen it before, you may not have seen it actually in action. There's plenty of screenshots, but I don't know if there's plenty of videos. But there it is, the Big Bud DLC. Thank you for watching, and as usual, I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.